I bought this uh, on an eBay. eBay, eBay uh, this is a uh, uh, os os oscillation genera generator. Uh, it costed me 35 uh, pounds, and uh, here it is. Uh, I'm currently trying it on uh, 10 megahertz. Uh, and here it is how it looks on uh, uh, oscilloscope. It's uh, quite clean. Uh, actually, it gets very hairy uh, in a kilohertz range, but once you go above a megahertz, it's uh, quite good. This button is used for uh, moving the cursor, cursor around uh, in order to select uh, frequent uh, the digit you want to change this is a plus one this is minus one and this is a ready set this is set a uh, button and the way I hooked it up is uh, uh, with the banana clips and uh, little uh, wire um, so nothing gets broken it works quite well yeah uh, I'm happy uh, with the clean signal. Signal gets cleaner uh, uh, the higher the frequency. I guess for a kilohertz range you need to use a capacitor or something to remove the, all the noise. Okay, so that was a preview. Thanks. This is a quick update on how it works at uh, 50 megahertz. And uh, I would say it's not uh, really brilliant uh, at 50 megahertz, but then um, it's only maybe 30, uh, 35 do, uh, pounds. Um, it becomes very inaccurate and it goes out of the. Uh, it's not always giving good voltage, and uh, I'll try. I'll try it at other uh, uh, other frequencies as well. Okay, uh, 50 megahertz was uh, definitely uh, uh, like a pushover. But uh, at 40 megahertz, it's quite decent and clean, and you could see it's now set uh, at 40. So I would say that that's the actually real value you get from it. Uh, 40. Yeah.